Okay, so once again, could we have the one minute introductory speeches first? And first up is Belinda Carabo Mabarizi. Hi guys, my name is Belinda and I'm a third year law student and I'm running for diversity officer. This role is perfect for me because I'm very creative and innovative, so you can be sure that I'll be, find, I'll be finding new ways to diversify our union. But most importantly, I care about equal representation for all of us. If elected, I will advocate for increased participation of minority groups in all student activities, most especially leadership roles and sports. Secondly, I will develop new ways to educate, to, re to reduce the stigma concerning mental health and educate everybody on the issues facing mental health. Finally, I will create a diversity forum to act as a hub for students, taking your input and allowing you to speak your mind, because this is your union and I really want to hear what you have to say. So vote for me so we can have more variety for better society. Thank you. Um, hi everyone, my name is Hui, or you can call me HY. Um, I'm a final year law student, same like Belinda, and uh, I have been elected as your NUS delegate last term, so I'm also a iHeart Consent facilitator. So the main reason for me to run for diversity officer is that I feel that a lot of us are underrepresented, the BAME students, the international students, the LGBT plus students, and I really hope to be your voice. I want to represent um, all of you. Apart from the tuition fee, international students' tuition fees, I also want to um, solve the housing problem. We need to ask the university to provide more support for the international students. For disabled students, we need disabled sports, we need more tactile paving to help the visually impaired students. Also for LGBT plus students, we need more unisex toilets. I, I mean, I was surprised when I came here when we have a few in the Carrington building. And also the last point, BAME attainment gap. Um, a lot of students uh, could not achieve a first or the two Time, one, and you. we need to solve this. Thank you. Seth Joshi. Hi, I'm Seth and I'm a final year food student. Um, I'm running for diversity officer next year. I've been a course rep and I'm a member of student staff, so I know how the union runs. Um, I was also a prefect and house captain at school, so I can bring these skills to the role. My main points are fixing international student fees. This would be leading the campaign to fix them, but also helping international students beyond just the fees, with helping them with jobs and further education after university, and also with support with housing, education, and welfare. Um, Gaining a gender equality charter where the universities previously failed, this would be around thorough staffing and getting more women into the higher positions of the university. Um, addressing the attainment and dropout rates of BAME and LGBT plus students. And this would be by diversifying staff and the curriculum, training tutors to be better equipped um, and putting in better support systems in place. I know this role is going to be challenging as it's a new role and no one's done it previously, so you'll be creating the role. I hope that I'll be good at that um, as I'm passionate and hardworking. Use your head and vote for said. Okay, so we're going to go back down the line in a minute and answer a few questions. Um, we've had two submitted online. The first one from Debbie is how will you increase the number of RUSU activities for postgraduate students? Uh, Molly also submitted how would you help the students of London Road? And could we also have one question from the audience? My question is, um, as it's one of my manifesto commitments, um, how would you work to close attainment gaps for minorities? Said. So I want to make the university, the union, more diverse for all students, but obviously postgrad and London Road groups are massive parts. Um, I would like to focus on having more union inclusive nights to get the postgrads in, maybe running like pool competitions different things, like different events to get them involved, because um, obviously post are difficult if they don't always want, want to go out at the standard union nights. Um, I don't really know very much about the London Road issues, I'll admit, having coming from White Nights. Um, so that would be something that I'd be looking into and looking to get student support and finding out what they want and trying to implement that. Um, on the attainment gap, um, my biggest issue is around like the staffing in the university and trying to get a more diverse staff. Um, diversify the curriculum, it's taught um, very traditionally with um, colloquial, like, very British, and um, trying to, to diversify everything around staffing and 
um, getting better support in for those students. Hi, um, so for the postgrad students, um, I think we need to identify what are their needs. Probably they just don't like to socialize that much. They need to be more career focused and we need to um, have events catered to their needs. And secondly, London Road students, we need to have events in London Road rather than just in Rusu all year. I mean, I probably uh, feel that, you know, they will feel we just use them as for like graduation. So we need to have events there. We need to have a two-way conversations. And I know uh, we only have like um, specific courses, something like education only there. So we need to meet all the students and have more events there. And in the third point, attainment gap. I think um, I've done some research and I think in our impact report it says it's 22% in Reading. So we need to have two-way conversation. We had a debate or conversation um, a conference last year, but we need to do more than that. We need to have two-way conversation, we need to have survey, or uh, just review why uh, all the authors on reading list are all British and males. Thank you. Belinda. Um, for postgraduate students, that is why we need the diversity forum, because we need to understand what the students want, and how to fill their needs, and we can't do that without actually talking to them. So the forum will, will allow them to like express their views and tell us what they want. And for London Road officers, I haven't been at London Road because I've been at White Knights, but there's a new role for the London Road officer, so I'm hoping to work with that person to find things that will satisfy their needs and like work in hand so that they can be satisfied. And for the attainment gap, um, diversify their curriculum, obviously, and carry out campaigns that will encourage the university to diversify their curriculum and career guidance sessions would also help greatly. And we could have, they, they, there needs to be more sessions for essay writing skills. And talk to the students again to find out what is causing them not to get first class. So like I said, it needs, you need to talk to the students to find out what their issues are exactly to sort them out properly. Thank you. Okay, so could we have a further three questions from the audience, please? What are your views on the no platform policy and how it stifles free speech on campus? I know some of you have talked about disability on campus, but it's just kind of what provisions you'd put in place because I know diversity would involve kind of different aspects, but you've mainly focused on international kind of issues and what other issues you'd cover and kind of how disability would fit into that. How are you going to go about diversifying the, um, the sort of members of staff here? So first up, could we please have Belinda? Um, I could stand here and bullshit about the no platform mm -hmm. issue, but I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to go do some research and I'll answer that on Facebook later on. About disability, um, I have put a plan to reduce disability stigma by providing workshops and campaigns to educate people about disabilities and also in, um, inclusion of events. So like in all societies, they should be like, they should cater for disability for disabled people, so find a way to like work with a work welfare officer so that dis disability events can be included, or like events should be carried out that cater for those people, and education of all society members on how disability can affect their members, and thereby allowing the breakdown of barriers because most times a disability is people people don't know how to help them, so if people know what exactly it is, they can be able to find ways that can suit them, and about diversifying the members of of the universe of the staff and um, well carry out a campaign and talk to the university to find out ways they can hire people who are more diversified and like Time, yeah. thank, you. thank you um i think we need more safe space for all uh, students from all backgrounds i mean um, our policy mainly focuses on international students fame students but I think the main point here is diversity officer is to represent, is to be the voice of students who fall, in, uh, fall under the vulnerable groups, the so-called vulnerable groups. So we need to have safe space for these students. And secondly, uh, this, for disabled students, I'll say um, we need to have more um, facilities. Uh, mainly our push for is the disabled sports. We need more facilities to help the students to discover and maximize their talents. And thirdly, uh, member of staff. I mean, to me, I think it's more about the merits. It's 
how good the stuff is. It not depends on what race, what color is the stuff. Thank you. Said. Hi, um, about the no platform policy, I think it ties into the prevent strategy um, and I think we should stand against it. Um, along with NUS, um, it stifles free speech, it um, promotes Islamophobia and it's just not very well written and it's something that Lucy need, needs to take a stance on, it's something that I will take a stance on if I get elected. Um, the disability issue, um, I would look into mental, better mental health support around um, campus around university. It's not registered with DSA yet, so they don't get any support from anywhere else. It has to come from uni. It has to come from uni. Um, better facilities for disabled students as well, like to get around um, times of lectures, timetabling issues, um, and to diversify the uni staff. That would be changing policies, getting them to look into their staffing levels um, to make it better, and that would, I think, help impact on the um, attainment gap as well. Um, thank you very much, those are the candidates for diversity officer.